Hey guys, welcome back to the Healthy Inside Out channel. If you haven't watched it yet, I just used the Illuminating Trio to put on my face. Um, I'm actually going to now show you, uh, I have Dew Skin, Mattify Powder, and then the Illuminating Trio on my face right now. I am now going to show you the um, Winter Jewels palette from Beauty Counter. It's $58 and you get all of this bronzer, blush, this is a highlighter called Rose Gold. It's amazing, I'll show it to you. This is a wet liner onyx. That's gonna be the feature for today to teach you how to use a wet liner. And then you get all of these shadows as well. There's a highlighter you can use on your cheek and your brow. So um, first and foremost, I am going to um, add a little bit more bronzer. I'm gonna use this special bronzer brush that uh, Katie over at the BUT Bureau uh, recommended. Mm. just to get into the hollows of my cheek a little bit more I feel like um, it's full and that um, pink is a little bit more than I wanted for um, this fall look so now I'm just gonna blend because uh, I already have the blush on I'm just gonna kind of blend into it You could also just use more uh, bronze glow, um, but since I'm featuring the Winter Jewel palette, I wanted to show you what the bronzer would look like on fair skin. Um, as you can see, I put quite a bit on, and it's not too overwhelming. Um, I think it'll be great with the bold eye, which is um, what's going to come of that onyx as a wet liner. Okay, I'm just making sure that no powder got along the jawline here. And next, I'm um, going to take the Beauty Counter Precision Brush. See how tiny that is? Um, and how the bristles are tight. You don't want them flayed all over. Um, and I'm gonna use onyx here. Um, this is made to be a wet liner. It is very pigmented. Make sure you, you know, your brush really good or else it'll like fall all over your face. Um, I've been practicing this week and I can tell you that's happened to me more than once. Um, so I'm gonna set it down so that I can use two hands. The first thing I'm gonna do is wet the brush. Uh, you can do this a variety of ways. I'm gonna use the Beauty Counter Rose Water Spray because it's what I have available. Um, and it's also um, got a lot of great qualities in it. So. Um, just don't spray that on your palette. You don't want the whole thing to get wet. So spray it away from your palette. And so now it's wet, looks the same. If your palette was frayed, now would be the time to, you know, swipe them all together, clean them off, and then do it again. I'm gonna dip both sides. Let's see if I can show you. I'm just gonna pat both sides of the liner brush here and see how it's falling away and super pigmented. Um, so I'm going to take the flat side, flat, not this side. This is going to be the wing. This is going to be along the edge of your eye. For me, I don't start at the edge of my eye because I have an almond shape that goes down. I start uh, about four fifths of the way into my eye and I go angled down towards the front of my eye. Then just touch along the lash line with that thin portion now. So it's facing my eye this way, not this way. So at first I put it on like this, and then when I got closer to the height of my eye, which is here, then I switched to thin. So this is basically bringing the edge of my eye line across by doing it this way making my almond shaped eyes a little bit taller, essentially. Okay, so that's kind of the, the base eyeliner look. Um, I'm going to spray and re-dip. And this will be how we finish it with the wing and the edging. Just patting each side. <sighs> making sure to blow away 
excess. All right, so here goes. I am not pulling on my eye. I am just keeping my hood back. And I used the side of the pencil to just barely go upwards towards the end of my brow. That's my, my goal line here. Now I'm going to finish the edge and bring the bottom up to meet it. I know um, it takes practice, but this brush is very easy to use because it is so thin on the side. Just remember, small, small, tiny strokes. So now I'm filling in along the lash line. And what I'm gonna do now is from the top to the bottom, just one even stroke. That'll clean the edging up without you needing to touch it with a Q-tip 5,000 times. And if you've done it thin enough, doing that edge will give it the extra thickness that you need without being too overly thick. So now we're just gonna finish the inside lash line with that thin side. And there you have it. Your winged eyeliner with shadow. Just a little bit of wetness. That's it. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna film my lash video. This is what everybody's been begging me for. So hopefully this is helpful for you. I'm all about the lashes and with the wing liner, that's where it's at. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget, you can find me in my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Stacey Toth. You can find my blog, realeverything.com. I have a beauty counter FAQ there, realeverything.com slash beauty counter. And you can shop these beauty counter products at beautycounter.com slash Stacey Toth. All of the info is in the description. Please subscribe and let me know if you have questions. Thanks for tuning in.